So today, today I'm going to make a special video. Um, it is, it is, uh, my sister, one of my sisters got herself a new system and she wanted to, uh, she wanted to hook it up for herself. She said she didn't need my help. So, you know, I told her, hey, you know, I'd give her my camera and let her show everybody, uh, everybody the system. I've seen it. Um, see if you can find the flaws. Okay, so <laughs> my brother decided to let me uh, use his camera and show you my system. Um, don't mind the beard, I need to wax a little bit. What do they say? GFY? <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Anyway, here's what I got going on here. This is banging. Okay, I got this, I got this set up off of Craigslist. And the guy said, he said it pounds. It pounds, okay? <laughs> I don't know if you guys are ready for this. Okay, okay. Here is my practically new Grand Am, okay? <laughs> you guys ready for this? Get ready. Bam. Bam. Two kicker tins on this. Sweet five, pretty much 5,000 watt amplifier. Okay, now I'm going to explain to you in detail, uh, real quick, um, what is going on here. Okay, I got these. Uh, the guy said they are dual ones. I don't know what dual one means. He said something about one per coil. I don't know. All I know is I heard that if I bridge, this is a four channel, so if I bridge this amp, it would give me more power. So what I did was I took uh, two of my positives and put over on this channel and two negatives over here and two positives over here and two negatives. I was just going to wire all the pluses together and all the negatives together, but I heard... I, if this if this was a, a one channel amp, I would have done that. But now I have this bridged. Um, I don't know what that means, but uh, I heard dual one ohm subs like all the positives and negatives together, and that puts out more power. So that makes this like five thousand watts. Okay. Um, I hooked this up myself, by the way. <laughs> My brother, uh, my brother wanted to help, but I told him to fuck off. I could do it myself. Uh, also, uh, I don't know what size wire this takes, but I put the biggest one for my power. It's zero gauge. Yeah, I, I use this zero gauge. I didn't get it all in the terminal, so there's just a little bit, and it's just kind of sitting on the top. Um, I only had so much zero gauge, um, so it's spliced later on down to the smaller wire. This is my ground. Use this for my ground here. Yeah. Uh, got it. Got it taped over to the side. Um, my brother said something about a bolt in the trunk or something. I don't know. Sand and paint. I I'm not a mechanic. I can't sand. So I just taped it to the side over here, and it worked pretty good. Um, let's see. Make sure I'm not missing. I got both of my uh, channels hooked up there on uh, my uh, R R A Cs or R Q As or something like that. I don't know about that, but then uh, and then my brother said uh, he said uh, some about the power wire and uh, fire fire block or firewall. I don't know. I don't. Know. It sounded complicated. He talked about drilling and stuff. That was just stupid. He must not know about this. He must not know about this. All right, look. I just, I just ran it. See, I ran out of zero gauge, so I just spliced it into this, some speaker wire from my power. I just ran it through my door jam. See, and it was like it took me like a minute, you know. Um, it kind of got cut right here. Uh, I think it. Maybe because it's going through the door. I don't know. It might have got cut. I put some tape on it. I put some tape on that cut. Just fine. Works just fine. Uh, 
I would show you a demo right now, but um, I got it to play for like, I don't know, 10 seconds or something, and I seen some smoke. It might have been because I was... It might have been because I was smoking. I don't know. That's probably where the smoke came from. But, uh... Yeah. Next time, I'll show you this system bumping. The guy I got it from says it does like 2,000 dBs or something, and... His windshield had a crack in it, so I'm pretty sure it was from this system. Because it, it bangs, he said. So, now you get to see my setup on uh, my brother Casper's channel. And, uh, leave me your comments. Because, I get off from comments, literally. <laughs> I'll have to tell him to edit that out. Did you like that? You like that? That was a special special my sister uh, Caspina in case you didn't catch the million things wrong let me show you real quick now I'm making this um, I have a lot of new people that watch my channel that might do some stupid things that they just don't know or maybe even experienced people that are not as experienced as they think it's simple things for some of us but others it's not so let me tell you some flaws real quick let me go through some shit um, these are not dual ones Oh, my camera zoomed in by itself. Um, I'm not sure what these are. I haven't checked the uh, voice coils on them yet. I just bought this for 30 bucks um, yesterday. I forgot it worked just for the fun of it. If these were both dual ones and you wired them all in parallel, it would be down to, I, I don't even fucking know, like 0.2 or 0.1 something. I don't fucking know. Make sure you know your voice coil configurations before you wire. Don't fucking wire up 20 subwoofers all in parallel and think it's going to be great. Because you will fry shit. You hook your subs up right. Uh, know, know the voice coils and how to hook them up. Oversized uh, power grounds are fine. Um, undersized is not. If you have a uh, huge amplifier that takes zero gauge... Um, Use at least zero gauge. Don't go smaller. Don't use fucking eight gauge in a 10,000 watt amplifier. Um, also, of course, don't leave this hanging out because it's going to fucking fry everything. Get it in your terminals. Um, talk to term ter Toolmaker or Project DB. Get you some terminals. Also, don't use different size power and grounds. Use the same size. They need like... I can't remember the blah of it, but anyway. Also, obviously... That is a stupid ideal. You, you you find a bolt or you strut tower. I like the strut tower the best, but of course they're kind of hard to get to. Scrape the paint off. Tape doesn't work. Um, also, the obvious. Do the door jam. I know it's easy. Um, you know, if you got to do it for five minutes just to test something, well, don't even run it through the door jam. Just run over top of the car so you can make sure you unhook it. This shit cuts wires. I don't care what you think, what you got. This shit will eventually cut your wire from this um, hinge opening and closing. Just because you taped it doesn't mean it's going to stop things. Um, if you don't know what this does, uh, stick your uh, stick some battery uh, jumpers, like jumper cables on your batteries. Take the positive uh, on the other end and just stick it to your car. It sparks and sparks. And if you know what sparks create, they create fire. And it will burn down your fucking car, let alone short your amp out. So, just some, just a fun video I wanted to make, I thought of this week. And there were some other things I wanted to say, you know, like things like, uh, if you did have a 5,000 watt amplifier, obviously this one is not. Um, this is an old school Sony Explode that I'm kind of anxious just to test because, I don't know, I like testing everything. But if it was a 5,000 watt amplifier... You would have other batteries in the trunk, maybe an upgraded alternator. You don't run a 5,000 watt amplifier off a fucking car battery and a factory 60 amp alternator. You just don't do it. It's stupid. It fucks up everything. Your alternator, your amp, your batteries, your subs, all of it will be fucked. Um, but yeah. Hope you enjoyed my fun video. It's kind of long, of course, but... I don't give a fuck. Ah! <laughs>